I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Day muscle, let's go. <laughs> now, when you're watching this and when we posted it, we might be about 24 hours away from the Portugal Pro right now. So, we're bringing you a few updates today ahead of this weekend's contest, including this one from longtime friend of the show, Roman Fritz, who's going to be looking to come in here and continue building on that momentum he established back at the Impro Classic a couple weeks ago. All things considered, the look that Roman had in Spain was probably his all time's best up to this point. And since he won't have to contend with Michael Critzo here this weekend, he should be in the running to contend for a top three spot, assuming he duplicates these efforts again. If he can do that, and someone like Andrea or Vlad miss their, misses their mark, his chances to seriously contend for a win will be more than as good as anyone's. Now let's stick with the men's open here before we move on, because I think it just caught everyone by surprise when we saw Lionel Baiki's name get added to the official roster at the last minute after they were released earlier this week. At this point, it's been almost three full seasons since the last time we saw Lionel on a bodybuilding stage, which is probably impacted at least in part by some of the issues that a lot of international athletes have been facing during the pandemic. Nevertheless, that won't change the fact that this will have been the longest break between shows of his pro career, which does make it hard to know what to expect from him here. There was certainly a period of time when he was as dangerous as anyone in bodybuilding on any given night. So if he can get anywhere close to where he was when he was at his peak, He's well worth considering as a dark horse contender here. And we also have a 212 lineup coming up here that also looks very decent on paper, but despite some of the names we have on his preliminary roster, general consensus we're hearing is that Lucas Coelho deserves to be considered your early favorite. His name's already been floated out there a handful of times in the run-up to some other 212 shows earlier in the season, but for one reason or another, those never ended up materializing. So there is a lot of people looking forward to seeing him make his season debut here. When he won his first event of the season last year, it gave him a lot of momentum heading into his Olympia debut. So if he can pick up where he left off last season, it could set the stage for him to make another deep run once we start getting closer to the fall. And our last Portugal pre-show update will come to you from the Classic Physique Division, where we're going to see one of the most anticipated rookie debuts of the season from Stefan Matala. This guy has generated a ton of attention over the last few months, despite the fact that we haven't seen him compared to other top talent in the division yet. We've even heard people go as far to say that they think he's going to challenge Chris for the Olympia title this year, which feels like it's put in the cart way ahead of the horse, if you ask our rider. <laughs> now granted, he does look amazing when he's standing alone in the gym going through some of these mandatories, and I guess by the time we hit Recap Wednesday next week, we'll have a better sense about whether he's got what it takes to be a superstar in the division right out of the gate. And that will do it for this Midday Muscle. Good luck to all the contestants going out there at the Portugal Pro. Hope everyone has a blast, and we'll see you on the other side. Ooh.